The question for tonight is, what do you do when you have a hard-headed student or a hard-headed godchild? Well, from the perspective of a boko, we deal with very aggressive forces. And when you're on the petwa side of things, you got to really know what you're doing. Because if you don't, you will get hurt. And we try to put emphasis on this, the, you know, the, the most aggressive way possible. You know, sometimes if we yell, sometimes if we scream, it's only because we don't want you to get hurt. We don't want you to go through what we went through. So when we give you this type of guidance, it's for your own good. So now, to answer the question, the answer is let them go. Let them find things out on their own. When they want to do things their way or they're stuck in their ways to say, example, oh, this is what this person told me or that is, this is what that person told me. You have to let these people learn on their own. You can't hold them and try to work with them because when you do that, you're only going to stress yourself out. Let me give you a prime example. Years ago, I told this person, this is what you do when serving as a lead don't talk. The person went contrary. The person head went through a windshield. That person had glass stuck in their head. In their forehead. Yup, they got into a vicious car accident. And they, they, they hit head first into the windshield. Basically, all the glass got lodged in their skull. Cracked the windshield, by the way. I had another person in Canada. I used to deal with this person closely. This person, that you know, uh, we had a close relation whatsoever. And this person just didn't listen to me. All of a sudden, this person loses the home where they was at. And shit starts going downhill. I gave the person specific rituals to carry out and they mixed their own fuckery with what I told them to do. What I have to do afterwards, I had to let the person go. Because when it comes down to me dealing with people, you have to shut the fuck up and listen what the fuck I tell you. And if you don't like it, you have to go somewhere else. Seek assistance somewhere else because I don't tolerate hard-headedness. A stiff, naked fucking fool. I don't got time for the shit. There's too many things going on in my life for me to be dealing with hard-headed motherfuckers. So, another situation again. And I come across hard-headed people daily. You know, and what I usually do, listen, I don't even got a conversation for you. Oh, I can't talk right now. Oh, I'm, you know, or, or, or uh, I'm busy. I got clients to attend. I can't take your business. I had one lady... Last year, and she knows who she is. She's probably going to be listening to this video. I, I took on my own, I took my, out, out my time to go down to Haiti. I warned this person in advance to watch out when you're going to Haiti and you're doing this consul thing whatsoever. Because a lot of my people are very, very, very shysty when it comes to the fucking dollar. And what did she go through? When she went down to Haiti, basically, the fucking people was doing all this fuckery X, Y, Z. And basically, there were certain altars and rituals that she was supposed to carry out that the, the mambo was supposed to bring with her when she came to the United States. Did she go back to correct everything? Absolutely fucking not. So this person spent all his fucking money for nothing. Then, for me to go correct the issue... I take time out of my day to go correct the issue. And what did this person do? They put up resistance. They put up resistance. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Oh, this lady told me this. That lady told me that. This is what's supposed to be done. When I'm trying to explain things to the person, the person gives me resistance. So I say this to you, when dealing with people, you have to basically let certain people learn on their own. I give you these examples so you can soak these things up like a sponge so you don't put yourself in a compromising position. You got to let these people learn on their own. You can't beat them over the head. You can't fucking, you know, you know, whoop their ass whatsoever for doing stupid shit on some old school stuff. Because to be honest with you, listen, on an old school note, you know, motherfuckers would get slapped up for not doing things accordingly. 
This is where I come from. So I say this to you guys. Uh, I hope this video was very informative. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.